What's up, nerds? It's Pat from the Nerds You're Looking For podcast. And today I'm here to discuss the big Pokemon Go Fest news. Just for the sake of transparency, I was a huge Pokemon Go fan when it first came out. I played it religiously for a good year or so. But within the last, I think, month or so, I actually hadn't touched it in a while. So I went ahead and deleted it off my phone. I just recently, uh, within the last couple of days, put it back on my phone because I wanted to talk about this news. And I need some gameplay to put over my voice. So I just wanted to be completely honest with you nerds that I am not a hardcore player of this game anymore. But I was pretty obsessed with it. And honestly, I'm a huge Pokemon fan to begin with. I was obsessed with Pokemon Red when I was a kid. Unfortunately, I kind of fell away from the franchise for a long, long time, mostly because I didn't really like the anime or the card game. And I know that that's kind of a silly reason to give up on a franchise, but that's the truth of the matter. I was a kid and I loved the game and I didn't really love all the other stuff that went around it. And so I kind of gave up on the franchise, but within the last three or four years, I've kind of circled back and played a lot of the older games, and I still consider myself a really big Pokemon fan. The big news regarding this game is the fact that the 2018 Pokemon Go Fest, tickets for that event sold out within minutes of them going live, despite the fact that the website that you had to go to to buy the tickets was a piece of garbage and honestly i just i don't understand what people expect at this point so if you're not aware the first pokemon go fest was last year i believe it was sometime in april maybe late march of last year it was in chicago uh for those that don't know me personally i live about six or seven hours south of chicago so i briefly considered actually going to this last year Unfortunately for me, the ticket sold out within minutes like it did this year. In retrospect, obviously, I am really, really glad that I didn't spend the money and take the time to go to this because it was a shit show. For those that aren't aware, last year's event, Pokemon Go Fest 2017, went so bad. It was such a shit show that the people that attended, and I believe uh, if the figure is correct, about 20,000 people attended this event last year. It was so bad that they literally sued Niantic and they won. Like people sue other people and sue corporations all the time and they're for foolish reasons and, and really just are so silly that they get dismissed before they even go to court. But the event was so bad that they actually won. And I, I've seen different figures it's either $1.5 million or $1.6 million, which would lead me to believe that the actual figure is somewhere in between that. Like, I remember that weekend, even though I didn't attend, it was still really, really hard for me to play the game because everybody was trying to play the game at Pokemon Go Fest, and it was just crashing. It was almost as bad as when the game first came out. If you played that game when it first came out, it was ridiculous to try to play within the first couple of days. Even within the first uh, couple of months, it was still really bad to try to play. The game would just completely crash. It wouldn't let you log in. It just They were not prepared as a company for the popularity that was this game. And they obviously weren't prepared for the popularity that was Pokemon Go Fest. It was an absolute disaster. And honestly, I'm surprised that they even tried to do it again. I mean, I get that you're not going to be great the first time you try something. We always joke around on the podcast, Tyler, my co-host and I always joke around on the podcast that don't listen to the first like 15, 20 episodes because we're really bad and awkward because we don't know what we're doing. And honestly, I've been doing the YouTube stuff for a couple of years and I'm still trying to figure out what I'm doing. So I understand like when you first start out with something, you're not going to know what you're supposed to be doing and you're going to really shit the bed. But when something is so bad that you have to pay almost two million dollars, maybe not do it again. Maybe learn your lesson. Maybe this isn't for you. And honestly, I'm not super surprised 
that Niantic tried it again. Because they seem like they don't really care about making a good game and making a good event. So it doesn't necessarily surprise me that they want to try to make some money and, and do this event again. And of course, they've done all the PR stuff. They said that they've learned their lesson and they know what to expect going into this year's event. And they're going to take precautions and blah, 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 blah. But what really surprised me about this news is the fact that even though the website was shitty and kept crashing, or I'm not sure exactly what happened because I didn't go to the website, but apparently they had some really bad problems with just the website, not the game, the website. Despite that, they still, the tickets still sold out within minutes. That's just silly to me. As a consumer, that you have no way of knowing if they have fixed the problem of last year's Pokemon Go Fest. That you're still willing to shell out money and time and travel to go to an event that could just be chaos again. And it just proves once again how loyal this fan base is. They're almost loyal to a fault at this point because how many times does Niantic have to prove to you that they don't deserve your loyalty before you will join me and many others that have given up on this game. When will you nerds learn that they're never going to give you the game that you want? They're never going to learn their lesson because you continue to support it. I understand I've heard from people that still play the game that it's gotten a lot better. They've added a lot of stuff but they still haven't made the game that I wanted it to be from the get-go. And I almost guarantee you, the game runs a lot better because not everybody's playing it anymore. They lost that opportunity because of how shitty they run their company. But as always, that's just my humble opinion. If you nerds have a different opinion, I'd love to hear it in the comment section below. And as always, if you haven't already, I really appreciate it. If you hit that subscribe button, ding that bell. You want to ding that bell so you get notifications anytime we post any type of video. And as always, you can find all of our other stuff, including the podcast the nerds are looking for, in the video description below. For Patrick Kuhn, I am the nerd you're looking for. Take it easy, guys.